Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. If you guys watched PulseCon 2024, the G.I. Joe Classify session, you would have seen the G.I. Joe Classify team messing around with shenanigans instead of showing our product images, product renders, and name only reveals. They ran out of time for messing around with their games and interactions with the fans that they claim. You know, you're a toy company, you should have shown you should have enough time to show off the product, so they cut it short. So at the end of the actual uh, G.I. Joe Classify session, they said that they'd do a name only reveal as Hunt for the Mass Device. And then later on, they drop renders. Well, here's these two renders. So they wasted time with shenanigans and show us two of the most coolest looking G.I. Joe Classifiers to date. We have Law and & Order and we have Heavy Duty. Uh, I bet you Law & Order is about a $44.99 price point. And a heavy duty is going to be probably the $34.99 like metal head because of that massive artillery suit that it comes with. Now we take a look at Law and Order. Order looks amazing. I'm definitely taking off that vest. I mean it's a great way to update the figure, but I do not care for that because I'm going for the old school vintage look. He does come with an alt to head. It looks like he's snarling. He looks like a bad boy. He's probably going on driving you know, your vamp. Come with some of the accessories. I have some type of headgear here. I'm not sure if that's for men for order or law. More likely, it's probably for order. We have a pistol, a knife, handcuffs, several sets of hands, a nightstick, and an Uzi. It looks great because it has some green camo on it. Uh, law looks pretty awesome. His green pants, red shirt, blue vest, and his white MP helmet looks pretty decent. Looks definitely looks like it's coming from the uh, original version of. Uh, Law and order. Definitely looking forward to these, but no time frame when these are going to be released or up for pre-order. Now we have a look at um, Heavy Duty. It looks amazing. He has this you know, kind of updated looking part from the vintage of his uh, artillery uh, loadout. He, um, he has like an over the top. It's like it's going to fit over the top like some kind of uh, vest attached to his rocket launchers. He has eight green missiles with some blast effects. It's like a little antenna, an antenna head, one set antenna hands, headgear, so like some kind of belt fit strap, and two knives. Um, I think it's a little, little light for a thirty-five dollar price point. I think they at least should give us an assault rifle for when you're not using the artillery piece. In my opinion, I of him just having two knives to go one-on-one uh, -on -one with whoever. He's definitely going to need some type of assault rifle, and most. Collectors are probably going to go ahead and use a Valorous weapon for the miss opportunity by Hasbro. But I find it ridiculous that we had to wait for these digital renders uh, because they ran out of time playing games with uh, you know, during the uh, PulseCon events or when they're supposed to be uh, releasing information about their toys. Um, no, no name drops I know of besides you know the Hunt for the Mass device. So. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, my thoughts on that, you're probably looking at some type of, uh, you know, snake eyes, maybe radiated snake eyes. Um, probably going to have, you know, some figures that come with each element, the heavy water, the got gold, and then that is crystals, the radiation crystals that snake eyes got irradiated by, and, you know, it's when he got timber. So, you know, there's a lot there. I mean, we even get his snake armor. I think those were in the cave, too. Hopefully that'd be something coming down the pipeline for classified. I can see that happening. Um, so well, let me know what you guys think in the comments about these um, you know, delayed digital renders. And I'll see you in our next review. Thanks for watching.